Invisible Borders New Women's Writing from Cornwall When the white ermine wings opened at night like a book of frost smoking in the dark I understood the colours of vowels painted on moth fur the black, red, saffron signs of a new language When night puts at the curtain you look up having been away to a place where the news did not exist and the journey was calm for these waters What if on a day in mid-September, I awoke as usual to this idyllic view, a crescent of a bay. But instead of Coverack, it's my father's city, Smyrna, 1922. I knew which direction, from the way the moon tilted towards the sea. My heart, pulled gently from my chest, was carried sleepwalking over the waves. I held my breath, Concentrated on the new space. I will not remember the invisible boom of waves or the crack of fireworks that echo around the stairwell, nor the seed blown daisy that blooms and dries in micro seasons on the whitewashed wall. As he trod slowly over the dead bracken and tried in vain to find a resting place, there suddenly was the tree somehow lit. Alive with light. The widest distance between the thumb and forefinger. That's how far removed I grow with or without you now. It's all a matter of puttying the odd crevice onto the strips of those otherwise evenly painted walls, I'm told.